Hi, it's Monty with Stampin' in the Tetons. I'm here to do a video for you. I haven't done one for a long time. So I have this new mini album that I made and so I thought I'd show you. Um, it is a envelope mini album and it's made out of the regular long like legal size envelopes. Um, that you just seal it and then I folded it over you know about a third of the way um, to make it so it would have a little flap and then I cut the end off of the, this little short piece to make a pocket to stick some tags in on some of my some of my pages. You could also if you wanted to, I didn't do this on any of mine, but you could also cut off the end of this one so you'd have some more space in there to stick some more um, you know photos or journaling or you know whatever else you wanted to put in there. So anyway, real easy, real easy base. Um, I made this album using the Simple Stories uh, paper, and it is called Vintage Bliss. Um, it has lots of pretty um, turquoise, pink, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, a little bit of orange, and then it's got gray and a really pretty gray wood grain and so it makes a really really pretty line. It's got a lot of, it uses a lot of the you know the photo um, mats or whatever you call those um, in this line so a lot of the pages have those on it. Um, there's a page that has like um, bingo you know some of the bingo cards that I used on some of it there's a page that has borders. Um, anyway, it's just really cute. And all the paper, um, a lot of the paper has, on one side, of course, it'll have, um, oh, like, this one has all these little blocks that you can cut out. So they're like little, uh, I think they're about three by four um, pieces that you can cut out um, to use as, oh, like on journaling cards or whatever. And, and a lot of the pages, um, they have some of that size. Some of the pages have the bigger sizes, like a five by seven, that you could use for a cover. Some of them have the four by six size, which is what I used on um, this project here on the cover and stuff. Is the four by six pieces um, that I cut out, and then I used um, some of the littler pieces on some of the other pages. But um, it's got a just a real uh, heavy cardstock. Um, front and back cover and then I covered it with pattern paper and then I um, put it together with um, some 2 by 3 pieces of um, cardstock that I punched with my uh, bind it all and then tied with um, string to bind it. Um, so I'll give you a look at the of the album. Um, it's very very simple, very um, basic um, for the kit um, but you could um, embellished to your heart's content, um, but what you see here would come with it. Um, and but a lot of my pages, as you'll see, are just plain, and they're they're just so pretty because of the paper. If you start with a really great paper as your base, um, all your projects will turn out really cute. If you start with a really pretty um, base uh, paper. So anyway, here's what it what it looks like. This is the front cover, and then inside, I also um, I I added a just an envelope that I bought and so you can uh, open it up and put you know more photos or memorabilia in it. Um, I did use some uh, washi tape on some of the edges just to for some of it for decorative some of it just to you know give it a a little bit more on like on the cover to give it a more um, stable um, foundation you know, to be put together with even though I, I used the really um, sticky tape to, to bind it all together with. Um, I just add that just kind of just to give it a little bit more more stability and also to kind of decorate it a little bit. So anyway the first first page I put that envelope and then on <clears throat> on the envelopes I also I, like I told you I made the the kind of divided it in threes and so this one I made a pocket and so you can see how it slides out uh, a tag that I stamped and you could put more photos or journaling or whatever. <clears throat> I used uh, quite a few of my embossing folders to emboss some of the paper just to give a little bit of something. Like this page here is not, doesn't have anything on it other than the paper and it's just so cute already just with that. 
Um, you know, this page is so simple. You could just add a picture here, some journaling there, and maybe a title or, you know, another little piece of picture there, and it would be done. Um, and, of course, if you wanted to add it up and make it all frilly like I like, you could add, a, you know, quite a few more pieces to it and make it really cute. This line also comes, um, also has um, some chipboard pieces um, that are really cute. The chipboard section that um, I didn't use any of it on this um, album that I did, but they're really cute. And it also has a sticker page <clears throat> that has a lot of the same elements, but a lot more, a lot more of it. You know, cute uh, little rain boots, uh, mason jars, roses, uh, umbrellas. I mean, just really cute. So anyway, this page is just, like I say, just paper. And, and you could do so much more with it. Um, just adding just a few more things to it. Um, this page is basically plain, other than I made a little banner up here in the corner out of some of the, the pattern paper. Um, this page here has another pull-out tag that I stamped with a, you know, the photo frame on it, so we could add another photo in there. Um, this page, again, is basically just the paper. And it's so, so cute. It just speaks, um, you know, by itself without having to add anything onto it, but course I definitely would but you couldn't you could go without it if you wanted to um, this page I just add a little flower this page I cut out one of the or actually this pocket actually I made um, cut out one of the bingo pieces and added it to that and then the back side I just um, covered with some embossed cardstock another page that only thing it has on it for embellishment is this uh, clothespin that I made um, other than that, it's got, you know, it's just ready to go. It's uh, it's already basically decorated if you want it to be. If not, you can add on a bunch more things. Oops, there goes my cell phone. Um, and then the, 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 the clothespin I just clipped on. Uh, the back side I tied on some um, baker's twine. Make it real pretty, and I covered the back of that, the clothespin on this side, and then I attached a little polka dot paper bag, because um, this, pa this page I made um, plain and just, you know, just to add on the paper bag for more photos or, you know, journaling, whatever you would like. Um, here's the opposite page, and again, just the paper. Um, and you could do, you know, whatever you wanted to to add to that. Another page with um, just some washi tape on it to give it some, um, you know, some more color. Another tag to pull out. I stamped on a, a stamp to do some journaling on. I added some ribbon on top to pull it out by. Um, another page that I covered with paper. And then another um, clothespin that I made there. To, you know, just for decor. Or you could, you know, clip on something if you wanted to. There's the back side of it. On this page that I just left gray. Just put a little piece of washi tape up there just because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with this yet. So um, I haven't done a lot of decorating on it. But everything that you do see on here that I've already decorated with will come with the kit. So everything that you see will here that I have done so far will come with it. And on this page I just kind of left blank and then I added a little um, file folder pocket with a flower on top and so you could flip it down and journal or um, add some more pictures. And then there's the back side, and it's got some, you know, more washi tape on it. And then there's the back cover, and there the end. So anyway, um, there it is. It will be available for purchase <coughs> on my eBay and Etsy store, Stampin' in the Tetons, um, eBay store and Stampin' in the Tetons Etsy store. Um, I'll have it on my um, website, stampinintheTetons.com. And um, if you have any questions about it, um, feel free to send me a message and I'll get back to you on it. But really cute, really fun, really pretty uh, fun, you know, colorful colors. Um, and with that little touch of the gray wood grain, it's just really pretty. So again, there it is. And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.